Lannisters are the well-known creeps of Westeros. Find out to what extent they are perverted in real life. So take a sip and let's see who still hasn't paid their perverted debt. Among all the Lannisters, Tyrion has perhaps suffered the most because of love. Throughout the first two seasons, he was the only kind and honorable Lannister in the family, making me wonder whether he's really on the family tree. Remember that moment when he was told to marry Sansa? He felt guilty for ruining her life, but showed her as much respect as he could, unlike anyone else in King's Landing. How old are you exactly? 14. Before marrying Sansa, Tyrion was married to Tysha, his first love interest. We knew Tywin was a horrible father, but he surpassed even my expectations with this one. He lied to Tyrion, saying she was paid to pretend she liked him because she was a harlot, and when in fact she was just a wheelwright's daughter. They've done a lot of awful things in Game of Thrones, but the violence is absolutely off the charts. My father brought in my wife and gave her to his guards. He paid her well. Silver for each man. How many whores command that kind of price? He brought me into the barracks and made me watch. Despite all the eyes gouging and the Dothraki wedding traditions, this was by far the most brutal thing on the show. Shay's betrayal completely broke Tyrion. But on the bright side, they were all avenged and Peter Dinklage is doing much better with the women in real life. In fact, with only one, Erica Schmidt, his wife of 13 years. Many couples have indescribable bonds that keep the romances thriving, but Peter knows that his family is definitely connected by art. Erica is a successful award-winning playwright and theater director. As Peter said, she loves theater. Unlike a lot of other people in our profession, where film is the ultimate goal, theater is sacred to her. It's not entertainment, it's art. She's very inspiring. She's definitely the artist of the family. I'm just the TV actor who pays the bills. Am I sensing some money issues going on at home in this last phrase? Oh, I know he was kidding. The two have a happy family life, raising two daughters, and Peter does a good job keeping his family out of the public eye. He's a very prolific actor. Although Peter is 49 and has had a long acting career, Game of Thrones is his most prolific role. His acting skills are amazing. I know it's sad that Game of Thrones is coming to an end, but I really hope to see more of Peter on the big screen after the show is finally finished. And speaking of the show, I have to mention one more important woman in Peter's life, his best friend of ages, whom we know better as Cersei. Peter was George Martin's first choice for the role, so when Peter was talking with producers, he suggested his close friend, Lena Headey, for the role of Cersei. I literally see Lena Headey drinking the goblet of wine at the Dinklage family dinner and sucking out people's lives. That is a lovely tie. It's a shame it's around such a worthless neck. <laughs> Cersei did not have much luck with her love affairs, though. She was sent off to another land to marry a man who never cared about her and her only true lover left her. Well, Jemmy had the best intentions when he did that because saving the world is just a little more important, you know? But still, he deserted her. Cersei's portrayal was phenomenal. Lena did her best to make us hate her. It's like five minutes of compassion to the character and 45 minutes of righteous hatred of all the old and new gods of Westeros and the audience. Cause let's face it, she's kind of a branch. But Lena herself knows how hard it is to lose family firsthand. In 2013, she went through a tough period of grieving following her divorce from her ex-husband, musician Peter Lowron. Heedy made the same mistake that Johnny Depp made twice with his wino forever and slim tattoos. She had to add her son's name to the original Lopron tattoo. For a couple years after the divorce, Lena was still depressed and struggled to get over her six year marriage. Cersei is not just a wicked woman on screen, she brings this mother lioness feeling to her character, perhaps because she is a mother herself and she relates to her character when it comes to motherhood. Aside from her love for her children, Lena is nothing like Cersei. As the HBO series showrunner said, we were struck by the humor she brought to the role. We never imagined Cersei as particularly funny, but Lena makes us laugh in pretty much every scene. She got married, then divorced, and then married once again. Between the seasons of filming, Lena found time to marry her childhood friend, Dan Caden, in 2018, and now they have a baby. In pursuit of happiness before her happy ending love story, Lena was linked to two other Game of Thrones cast members. She dated Jerome Flynn, also known as Braun, back in 2002, but they are not on speaking terms today. I'm dying inside to know what happened, but everyone on the set says that the two just have difficult times being around each other in one room. And in 2014, Lena was rumored to be dating Pedro Pascal, also known as Oberyn Martell. They were caught on camera looking cozy while spending some time together, but nothing more. 
Now let's move on from rumors to facts and talk about Charles Dance, who surprises fans with his love interest. Let's be honest, Tywin Lannister is a total douche. I don't even want to go over his on-screen love plotline, because there are no excuses for what he has done to his family. So, Dance had been married to his wife for 33 years, until one day he decided that he wanted to have some fun. Charles is now 72. But just a year before the show started, he was preparing to get married for the second time at the age of 64. After his divorce, he fell in love with 26-year-old junior sculptress Eleanor Boorman. Eleanor gave birth to a baby girl, but they never ended up getting married and they split up two years later. All I can say is I have a lot of respect for that guy. I mean, I hope I'll be on the same kind of role when I'm his age. Well, since we have started talking about on-screen douchebags, let's move on to Joffrey. Since the end of Game of Thrones, Jack Gleason has dropped off the radar completely. Sadly, he released a statement about quitting acting. He did a fantastic job playing Joffrey. I mean, we all know Martin's famous remark, congratulations on your marvelous performance. Everyone hates you. So with all that appreciation from the critics and Martin himself, what could have gone wrong? I was hoping for some shocking and long story behind this development, but Jack's answer was, I've been acting since age eight. But I just stopped enjoying it as much as I used to. Gleason said he used to do it for fun, but doesn't want to do it as a regular job in order to make a living, because it can change your attitude towards the craft. He even said that he hasn't watched the show since he left, because he knows that the decorations and characters aren't real. I know he sounds a bit like a wimpy snob, but I feel sorry for the guy. Gleason is now forever associated with that loathsome sadist, and people do not distinguish between talking about his character and his real life self. Gosh, people on Twitter can be assholes. Anyway, the media hasn't been very interested in him since he quit acting, so I had a hard time finding out about any of his love life. So you have to excuse me here. Anyways, let's move on to Cersei's less distraught kids, Tommen and Myrcella. They were both very unfortunate in their love affairs, with Tommen seeing Marjorie on fire in the Sept of Baelor, and Marcella being forced to leave her Romeo and Juliet type of relationship with Tristane behind. But nevertheless, both died because of their parents' war. Marcella was in fact played by two actresses, Amy Richardson in the first season, and by Nell Tiger Free in season five. I wanna to talk to you about Nell, and you'll understand why. There's some epic irony here. Perhaps we do inherit our parents' journey when it comes to life. Nell had been allegedly dating her on-screen brother, Dean Charles Chapman, also known as Toman, since 2015. They were teenagers, so they haven't made a public statement, but they left a long trace of pictures on Instagram that suggested that they were up to something of which Tywin would not approve. I'm not sure if they are still together, because it's not 100% clear if they were together in the first place, but there's no evidence of them dating other people either. And last, but definitely not least, is Jamie Lannister. I go, like because I didn't kill Tyrion, that's why. You didn't kill him, so you betrayed me. We're gonna have a baby together, are you happy? Yeah! I think you're gonna be a great mom. Once, when Game of Thrones was using Alcatraz as a film set, the guy who was giving the tour did not recognize Nikolai and made him pay the entrance fee. Nikolai paid and didn't cause a scene. It was as simple as that. Nikolai Costa-Waldo got married to a queen. And not in any metaphorical kind of way, but a real life pageant queen from Greenland. Nukaka and Nikolai have been married for more than 20 years. Even though Nikolai has spent almost half of their relationship filming Game of Thrones, his wife hasn't seen an episode yet. As Costa Waldo said on Jimmy Fallon, when you know someone really well, it becomes a little ridiculous to see them pretending to be someone else. I mean, what we do is quite a silly thing. I'm sure if you are in love with an actor, you show support by caring to watch how they did on screen. Or perhaps she just did not want to witness Nikolai's love scenes? What do you think about this? Anyways, Nikolai says that for him, it was love at first sight. They say that the ability to laugh is what keeps a good couple together. And they have shared many fun moments together, including that one time when an obsessed fan sent Nukaka a picture of Nikolai and Cameron Diaz kissing with a note reading, you should know that your husband is cheating on you with Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz is not to be trusted. It was a picture from a scene that a fan mistook for a real life event. They were both able to find humor in that situation, but Nikolai still doesn't like to be in the spotlight too often with all these crazy shenanigans. That's the eternal question of the pros and cons of being famous. What would you choose? Let me know in the comments below and please pick your favorite Lannister love story from the list. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Corey out.